Theft. We are here in the kitchen this midday with Cheryl Waldeck. She is a local cookbook author. Cheryl is here to share her apple crisp recipes. Her, her latest book, also The Joy of Food, is available on Amazon, also at Tulsa's Mecca Coffee and Cook's Nook and Research Store. Thank you, Cheryl, so much for being here. Let me just tell you, Thank when you I walked Mindy. into the kitchen just a minute ago, it smells so good in here. I love yeah. it. It smells like fall, in fact. Yeah, it does. That's, this is fresh fruit crisp with a twist. Mm -hmm. And the trick is to use fruits that are in season. So you're exactly right. I'm using apples and fresh pear mm -hmm. and pomegranate seed today. But really you can do it any season. And any just... season. I love it in June with blackberries, oh, right. peaches, yeah, strawberries. Peaches. That would be <laughs> good. Any combination. That's what makes it fun. All right, let's get right to the recipe and how okay. you make these. Okay, so you want to start with six cups of fruit. And you can see I've got the apples, pears, um, chopped in uniform pieces. Mm -hmm. And I want to quickly show you, you're going to use three quarters of a pomegranate. Okay. Pomegranate. And this, I, want, I left the last quarter, we're going to sprinkle it on top, but I want to show you how easy it is to remove the seeds. Just cut it into four pieces, and over a bowl, use your finger to fleck these out of here, these beautiful red rubies. And so if some of the skin gets in there, is that mm -hmm. a problem, or that's okay too? That's why you put it over a bowl, so okay. that you can be sure to remove that membrane, because mm -hmm. it's bitter, so mm -hmm. you don't want that in. Okay, so she'll, let's go right okay. to the crisp. Okay, so this, to make your crisp, you want to start with, a cup and a half of brown sugar, a cup and a half of rolled oats, mm -hmm. old-fashioned rolled oats, a cup of flour, and I like to use kosher salt in this dish, so a teaspoon of salt. So just mix, mix this around. And you were and telling me you use old-fashioned oats versus instant oats, and that makes a big difference. It does. Instant oats aren't going to hold up in this recipe. Okay. And you want to be sure to um, pack your brown sugar when you measure it. Mm -hmm. And um, the secret ingredient is Parmesan cheese. Yeah, I would never <laughs> have thought of that. Why does that work so well with this Oh recipe? my gosh, this makes the crisp chewy and savory along with the sweet of the brown sugar. And I have not served this to anyone who hasn't loved it. <laughs> and you just mix it right on in there? Mix it in. Then the last step is to put in a half a cup plus two tablespoons of unsalted butter. Mm -hmm. You're going to use a pastry blender and, and just mix this together. And um, the secret to this is to use pieces of butter that have been chopped to about a quarter of an inch. In, easier to kind of push down yeah. in there. And you want to work kind of quickly so that you don't melt the butter because okay. this should be the consistency of a nice coarse meal. Okay, instead Cheryl, of I gotta wrap you real quick. We're gonna okay. come back after the break and take a bite of these oh, apple crisps. The best Sounds part of great. it all. Okay. We'll be right back. Gosh, that was fast. <laughs> 